It's been reported that the couple wanted to bring their Netflix film crew along with them to the Santa Barbara Polo Tournament this past weekend. However, according to sources close to the organizers of the tournament, Harry and Meghan's request to bring the Netflix crew was denied by the event organizers. Apparently there were concerns that having cameras filming at the event could be perceived as the couple trying to commercially benefit from their patronage of the tournament. As patrons of the Santa Bale charity, which helps support children affected by HIV in Lesotho, Harry has attended the Santa Barbara Polo Tournament for several years to support the charity. However, organizers were said to be worried that allowing Netflix to film at the event risked making it look like a publicity stunt rather than a genuine charitable event. Sources have also revealed that Megan had contacted organizers before the event to request two free tickets to the polo match. However, her request for comp tickets was denied due to the event having a strict no freebie policy. Tickets to the sold out event cost $1,250 each, with a VIP package costing $5,000 per person. Organizers maintained that no one, not even patrons or VIP guests, were given free tickets and felt it inappropriate to make an exception for the Duchess. By all accounts, Meghan did not seem pleased to be told she had to pay for tickets like everyone else. It's understood that following being denied the free tickets and access for their Netflix crew, neither Harry nor Meghan actually ended up attending the polo tournament this year. Despite Harry's close connection to the event and its philanthropic cause, some sources are suggesting their absence may have been linked to the rejections by organizers. While we don't have official confirmation from Harry and Meghan's camp about why they skipped the event, the fact that they were reportedly hoping to bring film crews along and wanted free tickets does invite some interesting questions. Is it perhaps a sign that Harry and Meghan are struggling to separate their professional commercial work from their charitable commitments? Were they viewing the polo event more as an opportunity for Netflix content rather than genuinely supporting the cause? By all means, they are entitled to pursue lucrative Netflix deals to become financially independent as non-working royals, but there does seem to be an element of exploiting their royal connections and charities for commercial gain. If hoping to film private events for the documentary series, it also speaks volumes that neither felt inclined to still attend and support the important charitable work even after being denied access and perks. Their absence could certainly be perceived poorly by supporters of the charities in question. Of course, we only have one side of the story from the event organizers. It's entirely possible Harry and Meghan had genuine reasons for hoping to film parts of their visit. But on the face of it, asking for both press access and free tickets does seem to indicate at least some commercial motives were at play rather than simple charitable support. Some royal commentators have argued that this incident highlights the ongoing challenge Harry and Meghan face in managing that delicate balancing act between using their royal prestige commercially while also genuinely committing to philanthropic causes. When doing deals with mega corporations like Netflix or attending high profile charity events, there's a constant risk of the boundaries between work and patronage becoming blurred if not handled with care and transparency. What do you all make of this story? Personally, I think organizers were fully justified to protect the integrity of their event by denying requests. Charitable work should not be exploited for commercial gain, no matter who is involved. But it also hints at Harry and Meghan still having more to learn when it comes to disentangling their business roles from royal patronages. Going forward, how can a couple better balance commercial work with charitable commitments? Share your opinions in the comments below. That concludes my discussion on this story emerging from the Santa Barbara Polo Tournament. Thank you for tuning in to the Royal Beat YouTube channel, and I look forward to the discussion on this topic in the comments section. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on the very latest royal news. Thank you, and goodbye for now.